I want to determine the solubility of oxygen in water at 25 degrees Celsius exposed to air at one atmosphere. I've also been told that I can assume that the partial pressure for oxygen is 0.21 atmospheres. So where am I going to start? Well, to me, the key word right here is the solubility. So I'm going to need to use a formula to find the solubility. Well, what formula is that? Well, that's Henry's Law. So what exactly does Henry's Law state? Well, it says that the solubility of the gas equals a constant for Henry's Law times the partial pressure of the gas. Pretty straightforward, right? So I'm looking for S, so that's the left-hand side. So I need K sub H, which I'm going to get from the chart over here on the right. You may need to find a chart in your own textbook if it's not the one that's used in this video. So it says oxygen. So oxygen is this 1.3 times 10 to the minus third. So I'm going to plug that in for K sub H. Now what else do I need? Well, I need the partial pressure of the gas, which is given to me in the problem as 0 0.21 atmospheres. So I've got that. Now I did leave off my units, so make sure you might want to go back and put those in so you know that you, what's going to cancel. So I've got moles over atmospheres, so now I know that the atmospheres cancel. So when I go in, I'm going to actually calculate this on my calculator. So when I did it, I got 0 0.000273, but I only want how many significant figures? Well, the initial problem says 2. So I would get 0 0.00027 molar. Now, what if you're one of those people who likes scientific notation? That's great. So you can write it this way, or you could say that it's 2.7 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 4 molar.